Maslin, Ohio. I grew up in a little town uh, south of Cleveland and Akron, Ohio. Um, it was um, a pretty segregated city. My dad was a civil rights activist. We integrated the neighborhood we lived in, we integrated the church we went to, we integrated the school. I think by that point in my life at high school, I had been a leader in a lot of different things. I was not afraid to step out. I was the oddball out, if you will, but very comfortable in the skin I had. How much pressure is it to lead Delta Sigma Theta? $30 million corporation, 350,000 initiated women, 1,058 chapters to be exact. You, you know what? You can't spend your time thinking about that. I think that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Uh, leadership is never easy, no matter how large or small the organization. I have had to make decisions very quickly, and I'm very comfortable with using my gut to make decisions. I think that's something that a good leader has to do. You have to use rational judgment, but you have to be a decision maker that does not ponder decisions long. It has been uh, a very interesting term of office. There have been a lot of unprecedented things we've had to do. Black folks are good in crisis. We're so used to it. That's the sad part. But the good news is, when it comes to coming together in a crisis, we do a phenomenal job. Some presidents get elected, uh, national presidents, and they have an incredible social action is easy. I had the joy of being elected at a time when social action wasn't easy. Charlottesville had happened. Tropical Storm Barry, shortly after that, went into a small thing called COVID-19 and the pandemic. You know, there's a saying that says, it, in the midst of a crisis, you can panic, you can um, have a difficult time, uh, you can worry. Uh, however, if you focus on God uh, and He tells you to go with the flow, then that's what you'll do, you'll go with the flow.